स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज नोट डाउन द नोट्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियो प्लीज डाउनलोड योर नोट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट ए न्यू क्लास दैट इज रेप्टीलिया एंड इन दिस क्लास रेप्टीलिया वी विल स्टडी वॉल लिजार्ट कॉमन हाउस लिजार्ट दैट इज हैमी डकटाइलस फ्लैवी वीरेडिस एंड इन टू डेज लैक्चर we will discuss digestive system of wall lizard hemidactylus that digestive system is divided into two parts alimentary canal and digestive glands very clear from this diagram alimentary canal in case of wall lizard hemidactylus the common house lizard that alimentary canal is complete and it is divided into following parts is its first part is mouth that is a transverse slit like aperture and that mouth is well bounded by two immovable lips and the mouth leads into a buccal cavity this is the structure of buccal cavity and this diagram shows only lower jaw floor of buccal cavity this second part buccal cavity of the alimentary canal it is narrow anteriorly and wider posteriorly its roof is palate and that palate possesses a pair of openings of nares these are internal nares it means the external nares open inside the buccal cavity in the roof of buccal cavity palate and these openings are internal nares and the floor of this buccal cavity that possesses a mobile a muscular protrusible fleshy tongue its anterior part of this tongue is it is protrusible and posteriorly the tongue is bifid and it gets attached by a membranous fold that is lingual frenulum in both jaws both jaws upper as well as lower jaw a series of row series of teeth this row of teeth and all teeth in case of reptiles in case of wall lizard in case of hemidactylus all teeth are identical these are similar teeth these are homodont and these are acrodont like frog amphibia not down in case of mammals in case of rat human beings our teeth are thicodont as our teeth get inserted in a bony socket but here the teeth directly attaches the bony surface the cementing material these are acrodont these teeth in case of wall lizard as well as in case of frog rana amphibians the teeth are acrodont as the tooth gets attached directly that gets fixed by a cementing material over the bony surface but in case of mammals in case of rat in case of human beings that tooth gets inserted in a bony socket bony cavity means in case of mammals the teeth are thicodont but here the teeth are acrodont at this buccal cavity its lining the mucous membrane that contains the buccal glands the salivary glands the mucus secreting glands the next part of alimentary canal that is pharynx it means the posterior part of this buccal cavity this wider part and this one is named pharynx the pharynx receives a pair of openings from middle ear these are openings of eustachian tubes and in this pharynx this aperture this opening is glottis it leads into sound producing organ larynx and this pharynx posteriorly it opens into the esophagus food pipe by an aperture and this one is gullet
जी यू डबल एल ई टी डिस्क अपर्चर इज ग्लॉटिस दैट इज एन ओपनिंग ऑफ लैरिंग साउंड बॉक्स देन दिस पार्ट इज ईसो फेगस द फूड पाए दिस वन इज इलांगेटेड ट्यूबुलर स्ट्रक्चर विच लीड्स इन टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ एलिमेंट्री कैनाल दैट इज स्टमक and this stomach again it is tubular sac like structure and this stomach having two parts anterior part is cardiac stomach and its posterior wider part that is pyloric stomach then the next part of alimentary canal that is small intestine and this small intestine having only two parts in case of reptiles this upper u shaped part is that is duodenum and this lower elongated longest part of the elementary canal which is highly coiled tubular structure this one is ileum and dear students this duodenum this u shaped structure of this small intestine that receives secretion of pancreas through the pancreatic duct and the secretions of this liver lobes this liver through bile ducts it means in case of duodenum the secretion of liver the bile juice as well as the secretion of pancreas that is pancreatic juice come here the large intestine and this large intestine again divided into two parts its upper part that is colon and this small part colon which possesses at the junction of this ileum and colon a valve is there that is ileo colic or ileo rectal wall as well as a blind pouch is there and this blind pouch is it is cecum the terminal part the last part of the alimentary canal of this large intestine that is rectum which stores fecal matter and this rectum opens into a common chamber that is cloaca through anus and this cloaca that is a common chamber it is divided into three parts upper part which receives large intestine means anus opens in its upper part that is coprodium it means the upper part of cloaca receives fecal matter and its middle part of this cloaca that receives openings of ureters as well as genital ducts this one is urodium and its last part of cloaca is copro proctodium upper part is coprodium in which fecal matter comes the middle part in which ureters as well as genital ducts open it means the middle part that is urodium and this particular part receives urine as well as reproductive discharges and this part last part of the cloaca that is proctodium that opens by cloacal aperture now down the elementary canal of wall lizard hemidactylus that is complete and a few digestive glands associate with this system in the buccal cavity buccal glands are there which secret mucus in the wall of stomach in that mucosa gastric glands are present which secrete gastric juice and this liver having three lobes very small dorsal lobe and two lobes very clear left lobe of liver and right lobe of liver this one is the elongated structure which is an extension of right liver lobe and the liver secretes bile that get stored in this structure which is gall bladder it means in case of wall lizard the liver secretion the bile that get stored in gall bladder 
एंड दिस ग्लैंड दिस ट्यूबुलर ग्लैंड ए बैंड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दिस वन इज पैनक्रियास दैट सीक्रेट पैनक्रेटिक जूस एंड द पैनक्रेटिक जूस दैट कम्स इन दिस डूडिनम थ्रू द पैनक्रिएटिक डाइट and dear students in the lining of small intestine microscopic tubular structures these are small intestinal glands which secrete intestinal juice this is all about digestive system of wall lizard hemidactylus in case of reptiles in case of sand lizard uromastics the alimentary canal that is complete having following parts first part is mouth then buccal cavity buccal cavity posteriorly it opens into the pharynx and the pharynx opens through gullet into esophagus then stomach having two parts cardiac stomach posterior pyloric stomach the small intestine again divided into two parts upper u shaped part duodenum and this quiet tubular structure posteriorly it is ileum the large intestine again divided into two parts this upper part is colon and the last part is rectum and rectum opens into a common chamber that is cloaca through an the cloaca that receives fecal matter as well as urine and reproductive fluid discharges and this cloaca opens by cloacal aperture and the digestive glands which associate with this system buccal glands the liver that secretes bile in the wall of stomach the gastric glands which secrete gastric juice at this band like structure it is pancreas that secretes pancreatic juice and the lining of this small intestine that secretes intestinal juice this is all about digestive system of wall lizard common house lizard hemidactylus thank you